what is up everybody wavy the frog here also known as nigel ford the founder of passionpicnic.com and i am very excited to add some value to you guys today and introduce you to this incredible software that i found that actually allows you to train your ears and become a master of the equalizer and mastering eq is essential for anybody who's trying to be an audio engineer or a music producer especially oh, wait i'm sorry did i even tell you i'm a music producer if you're not using a tool like this or if you're not using this tool right here then you're going to find yourself on a long and painful path of discovering how to actually use eq the right way so for those of you who don't understand exactly what an equalizer is or what it does I'll explain that real quick and then I'll pull you in and show you exactly what I'm talking about. So an equalizer is basically a tool that's inside of all DAWs, digital audio workstations, that allows you to shape how sounds sound. How sounds sound. Shaping how sounds sound. Sound, 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 sound. Yeah, so, um, so sounds have a range of frequencies and you have your low ends, you know, your basses, you have your high ends, typically, you know, your shakers and your hi-hats and other various instruments. And then you have, you know, the middle, the engine of the sound. And what it allows you to do is it allows you to cut out or increase decibels inside of certain frequ frequency, frequency ranges. And that is extremely important because you don't want music to be colliding you don't ever want stuff to, to collide you don't want your music to to collide you don't want too much on the low end and not enough on the high end you know you want that atmosphere you want the entire sound you want all frequent you want each instrument to have its own space so a good way to think of an equalizer is like a, a box and you have different dividers and you want each instrument each sound to have its own space within each of those dividers but then they all still fit inside of that bin so you can still package that bin you send it out and it works great but upon opening it listening to it you have each of these sounds and they all sound great because they're not clashing with each other when you're not using an equalizer and you're at all or you're not using an equalizer properly then your sounds are going to be clashing together all right i'm going to pull you guys into my screen now show you exactly what i'm talking about and why i'm so excited to add so much value to you guys to show you something that's going to change the way you shape the sound of music for the rest of your life all right everybody here it is just a quick overview on this i will be doing a in-depth tutorial of this entire software so don't worry if you miss anything just keep on the lookout for that next video um, so as you can see we have one two and three so the player here you have three options the audio player you can upload anything you want it could be a song it could be something you recorded yourself i just uploaded a bunch of samples from splice uh, because they're just something that's already on my computer is an easy go-to um, so basically what you do is you upload something into the player and you play it you choose your exercise here um, and you'll see what I mean in a second but once you choose your exercise you start training and basically what they're gonna do is they're gonna manipulate the sound a little bit and you have to tell what they did to it and you'll see what I mean in a minute if you understand equalizers then this will make complete sense to you and you'll understand how valuable this can be if you do it over and over um, so when I pick a sound, um, I like to start out with the um, noise player. I'll show you guys what I mean. I'm gonna turn the volume down here so it doesn't kill your ears. Uh, you see how it's just some pink noise going there? Or it could be white noise, which is just gonna be a little bit louder. Pink noise is recommended for training. I like to start out with the pink noise and then I like to, once I get used to it, move over to the audio player and play a sample. You also have the live player, which um, I haven't really used, but it's basically live recording of your own microphone. Um, so it could be pretty cool, it could be useful. I haven't really found a use for it yet. So after I use the pink noise for a little bit, I like to use the audio player. And I like to pick a loop that I put it on loop, the whole song loop over and over. I like to pick something that's not too short um, because it's not going to annoy me if it's going over and over and over. 
and I like to pick something that has um, some dynamics. So it got low end, it's got high end, because as you'll see in the training, the EQ, it'll, it has a, a bunch of different frequency ranges that it will manipulate. So if you have something that's only low end or mid or high end, it's going to be hard to tell sometimes. So I like to pick something that has, um, you know, good dynamics in it. Um, over here in the options, what you're going to want to make sure is that the sound card is equipped. Uh, if you're using headphones, if you're using a speaker, if you're just using, um, you know, what's on your laptop or computer, then um, you're going to want to make sure that's all, all these options are, are good for you. You can figure that out for your own preferences. Now here is the exercise designer. I'm going to go ahead and have to play the audio before I can choose an exercise, as you can see. So I'm going to keep that volume low because I don't want this to kill your guys' ears. So you can hear it for a second, though. Just a good sample that I found in Splice. Um, it has low end, it has high end, and definitely got some good mid ranges in there. All right, I'm back here. So uh, you go over to the exercise designer. And as you can see, I've taken these quizzes so far. I actually reset me. I had a lot more done than this. But uh, so basically what you do is you pick one of these. And let's just do this one for now. You're going to just click it, start training. And you'll be able to hear the sample going. And I suggest using headphones for this, but you can use whatever you're used to. You're going to start the quiz. And now what it's done is it's manipulated it. It says, try to guess which parameters were used and enter them below. So I'm kind of just guessing right now. I can't really tell. Um, but you can listen to original. So we hear a little bit of a change there, and I don't have it too loud, so it's hard for me right now because I don't have my headphones, but I think maybe they took some high end out. So let's just guess, and what you do is you make a guess on here, and you simply pull one of these down. You can't pull more than one. You do that in other exercises, but not for this one, because as you can see, it'll tell you too many answers. So. You just go ahead and, and you guess. So I'm just going to take a complete guess right here and say that they took out some of this um, mid-high social solution. I was way wrong. <laughs> they actually added, or yeah, they took away this part, as you can see, the uh, mid-low. So let's reset it. Let's try it again. might help maybe if I turn the volume up here and this is running so you can go back here you can turn up your volume it's really hard to hear on these speakers Kind of hard to hear on those speakers, so I'm just gonna guess again just for the fun of it. Let's say that they just completely took out the mid range. And let's see. Again, <laughs> I was entirely wrong. It looks like they actually boosted the high end here. So, what's cool is they'll tell you your score percentage. So, I was 22% right. If you if I got it on the dot, if they lowered this mid range, then it would say 100% here. If I got it like one off. And, but I was right, like, uh, if they boosted it, and I said that they boosted it, but I was just one away, then I would have a 88%, and so on. So since I was so far away, and I was the opposite, uh, it was 22%, it was pretty bad. I right, good, yeah. So, I'm back here, guys, and I'm going to show you what the pink noise is like, and I'm going to use a different exercise. So, here I'm on the pink noise, and I have selected... Uh, this one and you have to reset the training before you can select a new one but as you can see I did the learn octaves with a band passed filter and we're going to listen to the EQ version I'll turn it up a little bit for this actually so 
So with the band pass here, it's showing what is the only frequency that's being played. They cut everything else out. So it sounds a little bit low, but not too low. So I'm going to say this is the frequency that's playing. Boom. See? 100%. Score. 100%. And you can go up here after and see what the differences are. And the more you play this, the more you're going to realize, um, the more your ears are going to recognize the perfect frequency ranges. And you have so many different uh, exercise designers. that out for you guys so it's not killing your ears yeah so I like to just go through here and reset these quizzes every once in a while just so it doesn't pile up and I'm not looking at how bad I was last week or anything you know <laughs> but yeah that's pretty much it for you guys I'll do an in-depth tutorial so please don't worry all right thank you guys so much for watching my video I really hope this added some value to you I'm also going to be uploading a full-length tutorial on exactly how to use this software so that'll be coming soon also please leave a comment below and let me know what you might want me to check out and review next also you can head over to my website passionpicnic.com where we review all sorts of different softwares plugins and tools and equipment and hardware and instruments just for you guys to check that out all right thank you so much we'll see you next time all digital audio <laughs>